Hi guys, welcome to a new video on my channel and today we have a vlog. We're actually going into London, central London, just to spend the day there, go to a Korean restaurant. Then after, I think we want to go to this really nice dessert place. I think it's called number 79. And yeah, I think it'll be a really fun day. So I want to take you guys along with us. I want to film it to create some memories. So what I'll do first, I think, just to start the vlog, I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. So this this is my outfit for today. I am wearing this white basic vest from H&M which is such a staple and it's super affordable. It's around $5.99. Um, my jewelry, one of the necklaces, the palm leaf one is from Daisy London. This one, the triple beaded one is from Monica Vinader. This ring is, the, so this one is the Doina chain ring from Monica Vinader. And then the one on this hand again is the Nura Reef from Monica Vinader and my earrings and my earrings are also from Monica Vinader and I'll leave them listed down below as usual. Um, then the belt I'm wearing is this one which I actually created a video about it. So this is from H&M and it's kind of a Celine inspiration belt. And then the shorts that I'm wearing are from this linen blend shorts from H&M which again I showed in one of my previous videos. And I'm not going to show you full wear just now because I'm not wearing anything. Um, and I don't want to bring the dirty shoes on the carpet upstairs but I'm going to wear a pair of slides from H&M and yeah this is pretty much my outfit for the day so it's really nice and comfy actually the shorts are a tiny bit too tight but they are fine if I was to buy them again I'll probably maybe go up in a size 8 but I think when I purchased them they had no size 8 in stock and I really like the look of them so I wanted to keep them anyway so yeah this is my outfit for today okay so before we go I actually have a tiny bit of time so I wanted to show you guys some beauty items that I picked up I'll start with these two actually so I'm not sure if you're aware but Revelation has a lipstick and a lip liner they are meant to be a really good dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick and lip liner so you guys know if you've seen some of my videos that this is my favorite all-time lipstick so this is the Charlotte Tilbury one in Pillow Talk and like I said Revolution does a dupe so this is the dupe for it I'm not sure what the name of the lipstick is but the shade is Shuffer so I'll just open both of them up so you can see what they look like. This is the Makeup Revolution one and this one is the Charlotte Tilbury one. The shades are super super similar. Um, the Revolution one is a fraction of the price. I think it's about £5 which is incredibly affordable if you want a similar shade as this one. And to be honest I've just been wearing it because I wear from home a lot of the time but I still wear makeup because I have to go on camera. I do wear this quite a lot when I'm working from home and it has been a really great dupe um so yeah those are the two lipsticks and then they also came up with a lip liner that is a similar shade so this is the charlotte tilbury pillow talk lip liner and this one is the revolution one and this one is called satin kiss lip liner and i believe the shade is the exact same as the lipstick if you want to focus so yeah, the shade is Shuffer as well. And again, this is super, super affordable. So I've decided to do a quick swatch as well of the lipsticks and the lip liners. So on the left, we have Charlotte Tilbury and on the right, we have Makeup Revelation. And as you can see, the shades are somewhat similar. They're not exactly identical, but on the lips, they do look very, very similar to each other. The quality, again, I wouldn't say um, it's very comparable, but for a fraction of the price, I think the Makeup Revolution one is a really good alternative to the Charlotte Tilbury. So this is what the swatches look like. So the next thing that I picked up is this NYX Butter Gloss. And the shade that I picked up is Madeline. And to be honest, I am quite disappointed with these Butter Glosses from NYX. I think this is my second time trying it. I wasn't impressed the first time. And this time around again, I just feel like they go on really, really patchy. And I don't know, because I feel like they have such good reviews. Everyone absolutely loves them. So I'm not sure. I might only odd one out that doesn't really enjoy them. Let me know your opinion as well, because I'm really curious. But yeah, this is the second Butter Gloss that I tried from NYX. And I'm definitely not impressed. 
I think the Kiko alternative is so, so much better. Next, I picked up this concealer from e.l.f. just because I have more of a tan right now and um, I needed something a bit darker. So the shade that I picked it up in is Light Sand and I picked this up online and unfortunately, it's still too light for me. I actually have an older one that I picked up ages ago, which is this one. And again, I picked this up online in Fair Worm and when he arrived, this so, so, so pale. So it's too light for me. And I wanted to go up a few shades and this one is the new one, but it's still too light for me. Okay, and the next two things that I picked up from Revolution, again, I bought these to use when I'm working from home, just because I don't want to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills products that I have every single day. So these are, I'll start with this one. So this one is the Precise Brow Pencil and this one has a very fine tip. And I picked this up in shade Light Brown. And then the next one that I picked up is the Duo Brow Definer. Both light brown, but the color looks completely different. So what I'll do, maybe I'll do two quick swatches just so you can see what the colors look like. So on the left, we have the Duo Brow Definer in light brown. And on the right, we have the Precise Brow Pencil again in light brown. And to be honest, I find out of the two, I find the Precise Brow Pencil a lot more easy to use just because the tip is a lot finer and it allows me to draw like hair strokes almost. As you can see, there is a color difference between the two. So this is what the products look like as well. So you can see one of them has a finer tip and the other one is a lot thicker. And I'm really pleased with these products, especially because of the price. They're super affordable and I think they do a really good job. But if you know any other precise brow pencils like this one on the right, then please let me know because I'd be interested to try others as well. Hi guys, so we are now in Oxford Street. We're just on our way to Piccadilly Circus. Um, I'll show you guys when we get to the restaurant. Do you remember what the restaurant is called as well? GMAC 39. GMAC 39 is the name of the restaurant that we're going to, so I'll take you guys along with us. Liberty London is on there. Okay, so we arrived outside the restaurant and there is a protest right there, but they say as well the restaurant looks like um if you want to focus it's called GMAC 39 and I'll show you guys what it looks like inside this hall. Is it too open? That's why I'm So we've made it inside and because it's lunchtime now we're looking at the lunch special menu. So this is what it looks like. This, there's a reflection in here. But yeah, so they have bento boxes, tray set lunches. They've got this sushi and sashimi tray set. And then they've also got a soup tray set and udon and udon tray set. And then they've got some starters as well. And then they've got loads of other pages that go into the dinner section. I'll give you a quick idea. And they've got a barbecue for dinner, you know, which is delicious. Obviously, I haven't tried it yet, but I can just tell by the way it looks. Yeah, these are just some of the options. And then they've got desserts as well. But if you want to see the full menu, then I'll recommend checking it out online. How are you feeling today? We are about to have a nice fancy box. I'm feeling good, but I am really hungry, so I'm getting a little bit cranky. Um, thank you so much. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see what it tastes like. <laughs> Do you want to show around the restaurant so you can show them what it looks like? Okay. Are you zooming in? <laughs> Look at the quality of this. Okay. Oh, thank you so much. So my boyfriend got the chicken teriyaki and he's order arrived and this is what it looks like. And it actually looks delicious. I wish I got that. Can I try something? And this is what mine looks like, and I got the pillow gate. 
<laughs> yeah. So I have finished my food and it was absolutely delicious. I think my boyfriend's teriyaki chicken was even better, but nonetheless, mine was absolutely delicious too. And yeah, I really recommend it. I was really happy with it. Hi guys, so I just wanted to do a little update. We just finished uh, Jumak 39 and the food was actually really nice. Uh, my boyfriend got the teriyaki chicken which I think was so much nicer. Mine was really nice too but I just think I preferred his so maybe if we were to go next time I'll probably get his one. Now we're just going to um, walk around, we're gonna go to a bubble tea place. We're not sure yet which one, either Happy Lemon or Mubu. Um, and that's the plan for the rest of the day so I'll take you guys... No, actually we're gonna go to the dessert place as well so I'll take you guys along with us. We are now in Chinatown and I absolutely love Chinatown. I feel like every time we come into London, we need to come to Chinatown. I mean, I come here so often. This is probably featured in one of my vlogs before, but we just love Asian culture. So, yeah, I always like to come and we come really close by. And there's so many, like, Oxford Street is really close, Leicester Square is really close, Common Garden is really close as well. So, yeah, it's a really cute little spot. So, I think we're gonna start making our way towards Common Garden actually, but we just wanted to pass through here. But we are now at Happy Lemon, and we've decided to go with this one just because it was really close by, so it was really convenient. And I'm going to go for the brown sugar baba, which is my first time trying it. So, I'll keep you guys posted. The place is super tiny. Literally so we have secured the brown sugar boba. I can't even show it properly. Okay, I think that shows them. It looks delish. So now taste test. So we're just walking around now. I think we've decided to find a little a little park area and um, we're just walking there now. But I was just saying to my boyfriend like the choice in London and the variety of like places to eat and places to drink at is so 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 much it's like it's so nice to be here and just to have all these options so yeah I mean it doesn't look great right now um, but we're just gonna walk around and find a park where we can just chill for a little bit um, update on the brown sugar what's it called again brown sugar bubble tea um, it's really really nice. I like it. I don't think it's that much different from the regular one um, But we're really pleased with it so, That gives my mark on approval The Fargo Square is right there, um, but it's really really busy today because they have a protest of some sort So it's super super crowded And now we're just going to have we're just going to cut this way. Nana, the weather is actually amazing in London today. It's really, really good. So we've had really good weather today. Oh. Yeah, the park is literally just there and London Eye is right there. And this is Okay, so this is called Whitehall Gardens and it looks super cute and peaceful so we'll just stroll around. Oh my gosh, it's stunning, isn't it? I never knew this existed actually. And then you've got the view of the London Eye right there. I don't know if you can see it. It is right there. So yeah, I think we're just gonna walk around here for a little bit. I'm so pleased we discovered this. So we're currently just sitting here, taking a little break. And after, what are we doing after? Do you want to walk around a bit more? We are now in Covent Garden and we're just on one of the side streets and they've got all these little cute boutiques. We actually went into three people. Um, it was my first time going into one of those stores and it was interesting. And we're just strolling. We've got so many nice boutiques around here. It's quite busy today because it's a Saturday, but it's still quite nice and um, the weather was really good today. Oh, look at you, look at you. They're walking around the entire of London, at least it feels like that. We've arrived 
and this is what the place looks like so it's number 79 missing coffee and we are just going to check it out So it doesn't look like they have too much left, but they do have a um, teddy bear at the back and they also have these desserts. And this is the reason why we actually came here. I don't know if he wants to focus, so it's like a little dog. And I think we're gonna get that one to try because it's their chocolate mousse and we're also gonna get some of their pancakes as well. But yeah, it looks kind of empty right now. So I'm not sure it's because it's quite late in the day. It's almost like 6. Yeah, it's 5.51 so it does look quite empty. So we did not end up going for the mousse, the chocolate mousse and we came back to their original actual shop. And we ended up getting this place called pancakes for my boyfriend by them. So I'm not sure what that was. But this is what they look like. And they also have this really cute basement sitting area where you can come because up there is super super tiny. And that is the ceiling. finished eating the pancakes which were really nice but I think the ones that I got last time which was um, cream and the bubble tea tapioca uh, bowls those were a lot nicer I think I prefer those to the one that we had today and today we had the biscuit ones so yeah we've just finished the pancakes um, and I think we're gonna head home shortly so I think I'm going to end the vlog here um, we had a really fun day just walking around London and everything is so close by which is really good so we did a lot of walking we did a lot of eating as well and yeah everything that we ate was quite nice and I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this vlog and I'll catch up with you in one of my future videos thank you so much for watching and until next time take care bye for now